Assalamu alaikum. So this is another great day. We are going to start uh, another programming on app script. Uh, so I have my project open and the, in, in this video I will use class tool, the command line app script project tool that Google, Google actually uh, developed. Uh, it's open source actually. If you search, uh, you know, uh, C-L-A-S-P, clasp um app script then you will see this link command line interface using class you can open this one or you can open the github it's actually both are same thing uh, also you can read through the message uh, instruction requirement how to use this is basic very basic is given in uh, developers.google.com app script uh, guide class and from within you can actually jump and open this one let's open this from here and it's same you can see uh, the url it's the same thing so either way if you follow this uh, github uh, you know uh, instruction it is much uh, detail and complete so better uh, to stick to this one guide it has everything you need about the clasp uh, including you know node.js version now I have in my computer already installed node.js and clasp and everything set up I'm working I know uh, it's working so uh, what I will do I will guide you through uh, from the beginning like how to download the app script in your PC okay first let me tell you what is clasp clasp is uh, usually uh, Google uh, have editor you know app script editor online you can directly open from within your Google sheet or Google Docs slide everything has their you know script editor you can open it this is app script so this is one line the editor is one line you can save it run it and debug it everything you can deploy it all the features are involved uh, online activities now because it's online everything saved is online so uh, to do modification you, to, you need to log in and uh, you don't have backup actually and if you work on a project uh, you have to actually make a copy of it to work uh, on you know on duplicate project but if you uh, work on a project uh, the client has given one sheet and you need to implement the project you have to open this online uh, script editor do the programming save it test it and uh, you know share back or uh, give this link uh, and then you client will you know uh, unshare you so you lose the code uh, you know what I mean so when client give you a Google sheet they will share you as editor okay so you add the code and once it is done the client is happy with the performance and everything he will remove remove you from the sharing list so once it is removed from sharing list you lost the code also because you don't have any access anymore so uh, to keep the backup and to reuse your code in another project or you know understand how uh, you can do better or improve things on your own uh, so better to use clasp in that case actually you can download all the project code in your pc laptop and then uh, you keep the backup reuse it in your another project and so on so forth so let's uh, create a folder uh, i will use uh, class so this is uh, 006 so this is my folder okay so i will use this cd and then dot dot uh, sorry same apostrophe or quotation mark and then sh control shift v to paste that path and then enter so 
so now i enter into my folder directory in which i want to save the class project now i don't want to save in this uh, you know root uh, directory within this directory so um, i will create a new project uh, mkdir then i will name it clasp006 because that's my video title is now now it's created i will go to that clasp006 okay so i have to give that quotation mark i guess anyway i don't want oh it has created actually two folder something uh, actually bothering me few some of the settings with this hyperlink uh, hyper terminal i don't want uh, let's create a folder from here usually i do that <laughs> i create folder from uh, within windows uh, very rarely I use, uh, you know, create, uh, create folder from within this terminal. I'm more comfortable with it. Many will tell uh, you're not uh, comfortable enough with the terminal. That means you're not good program. I don't care who tells what. Okay, so now I am inside the class 006. now go to this uh, project okay i have project this uh, where is the project okay so this is the project it it is a multi-page uh, you know web application so web application will have a uh, form and uh, to create a project you need to open app script again app script and then go to file click this to create you know file, file like this it has two file my project has two file one is html and is google set Google App Script. So if you create this, you will get a menu like this script or HTML. So that way you create the project, do the function, programming. Okay, we will come to step by step. If you follow me, you will, you will come to understand. Now to download, I have already project, right? So similar way, if you don't have any code inside, create at least one file with code.js and write some comment here or some variable initialize some variable something like this then go to this settings project settings and copy this id so this is your project id okay we only need this one to download our project in our folder local folder so here you uh, use this instruction uh, command line instruction clasp you have to use clasp uh, word for every command uh, for app script okay uh, first of all you need to log in into this account so that this uh, our you know uh, what is called hyper terminal this is a uh, hyper terminal person number uh, 3.0.2 you can install this one or you can use simple command line uh, you know issue so clasp and then login so this will be logged in a, a browser window will open and it will ask for login information so just waiting let's just wait a few seconds unless you log in you cannot actually download any project or upload any project into google app script account so this terminal uh, hyperlink uh, terminal should know uh, in which account we are connecting right uh, it's taking too long i'm sorry why is too long okay just break it and try again class login Ah, okay so now it's ready you see uh, a link is given and 
parallelly a browser tab is open with my account already listed so if i click here it will ask me to read through some of the permission that i have to give uh, and allow so script can access all these things so better you read through this uh, but i don't read that much actually it's required it's required what i can, what can i do if it is don't if you don't allow you will not be able to work so there is no way that uh, any other option is there so now <coughs> uh, okay so now we have logged in second stage is we copied this right we copied this on and then use the same command class this time clone cloning will copy the online program your account google app script project into your local folder folder in which we are already in this folder path so it's a d drive then class folder then class 006 okay now i paste that you know google app script id here so once i enter it will be copied into my folder this folder wait a few seconds refresh it so so now uh, okay so two folder uh, sorry two files uh, from our project let's see uh, the project uh, title a uh, file title one is code.js another is func1.html so now both should be downloaded you see the func1 and cod now thing is uh, the gs dot gs in your google app script project is actually javascript project in your local folder so this uh, difference you need to remember this is javascript file so when locally you create a file for, for app script you need to give the extension js for javascript and this two is by default uh, one is configuration file another is uh, both are json file if we open this uh, let's open visual code studio vs code and we will be able to edit all of them read all of them so now it's done our project is downloaded uh, okay now one file we have to uh, create is clasp ignore this file is uh, in your uh, what is called local folder so that if you create some random file in your folder project folder that will not be uploaded into google uh, app script project uh, to prevent unnecessary uh, file to be uploaded or trying to be uploaded into google account we avoid using that ignore uh, file class ignore let's uh, add folder into workspace okay so class 006 and then open and okay our project is open now what i will do i will add the ignore file i have already seen some other project i guess i okay i copy this class ignore from other project and i will show you what is inside that file let's just paste it why so slow
It should not take this much time. Uh, I I don't know why. Okay, so now uh, okay, so copied. So it has some of the command uh, which tells that uh, this four type of file should be uploaded in our app script project, and then rest any other should not be uploaded. It's a straightforward. Now, if you want to work in this project, uh, we have already cloned, right? So the code is in your uh, local folder. Our code is this two file. We need to uh, understand uh, what is the app script JSON is doing. Uh, sorry, class for JSON. Class for JSON has that ID. Uh, the apps give project ID. Oh, where is this? This, this one. So it has. You can add something more uh, later. I will show you. Uh, let's uh, do one more thing. I pull that information one more time because I feel not so comfortable that everything is downloaded. So I do a clasp. This is to pull information from your online Google account app script project into your local drive to pull and then Uh, today morning I don't know my because laptop was on for overnight and it seems slow uh, it, I don't get it twice so slow okay so you see the so app script dot man, manifest file in editor if I show this one I click this okay and then I break this and try again. Okay, retry again. Class pull. So this time it should actually download that uh, app script dot json file. App script dot json file. So this is the information it has, and dependencies and you know web application link and everything will come to that it's not required for the beginners to understand all details uh, but if you get started with the more complicated project that yes you need to understand those things now it's completely uh, uh, downloaded the class ignore is what we have created locally copied from other project or you can write here there is help online also here how to create uh, in github class and then app script is the same file that we had just shown here. We have to enable this one to download and then it will show up in our editor. So now that app script.json file is in editor. We didn't need, do you don't need to see that actually. We disable this one, unlock it. And now everything is locally in our visual studio code okay so uh, we go through this uh, program step by step and what is it doing multi-page web form web app right uh, so uh, first of all go to whatever is deployed and see what is it that multi-page web app is doing so it's it says ui app has been depreciated please use html service instead line number eight and file code so line number eight is okay this one ui app is no more uh, a valid uh, app 
is depreciated so something we have to change in the code to make it work okay so we have still uh, do get the post uh, gui event information and then So this is our HTML code. It's nothing much actually. Okay. Why is like that? It does not look like HTML file to me. Uh, it is same file something not right with the project uh, am I working on the right project okay so let uh, let me see it uh, okay I need to change obviously the UI app and we'll modify this part and make it work okay 